Hey guys, I had a chance to catch up with Mike Coffin at his labs here in Richardson to talk about seamless mobility. Let's take a look. We're going to talk about how a mobile device does what we call seamless auto handoff. Okay. So when we talk about handoff, we're really talking about moving between networks. So in this case, it could be between, for example, the Wi-Fi network in your business and your enterprise and a cellular network. It could also be a data connection. It could be a Wi-Fi data connection handing off to a 3G or a 4G type of data connection. Uh, in this context, we're going to talk about a voice connection though. So, I've got a mobile phone. Uh, I am configured inside call manager with something called a mobility identity. This is actually my cellular phone number, okay? So let's say I've got a phone number configured and this phone number is this mobile, actual cellular mobile phone number. I also have a line number, so in call manager, I've got line number 1001, so I'm extension 1001. So if I'm an IP phone out here, I dial 1001, it's going to land on this phone over this IP connection, over the Wi-Fi. So now I'm talking between these two devices, and I've got this media connection that's direct, right? It's an IP connection, so it's a direct media connection. And now I want to move outside. I want to walk out the door. There's two ways we can do this. As I'm walking out the door, I can press a button, right? So I manually can hit the button on the phone and say, I I'm going to hand off. I want to go outside. Uh, the other way is to auto handoff, so seamless auto handoff. So there's no user input. And the reason we have two methods is really because, A, you might have an environment that just has a bad connection in it, uh, or B, you might have a bad audio connection and you want to manually just, you know, I'm tired of listening to this, let me hit the button and move over. Or the platform may not support some features. So for example, different OSs on mobile phones have different capabilities. So we have both auto and manual. Functionally, it works the exact same. So as this device moves from enterprise to the cellular connection here, we want to change our connection. Obviously, I'm losing Wi-Fi over here, right? So my Wi-Fi signal strength is actually going down. Uh, in a device like, say, a, a Nokia-type uh, dual mode device, it can recognize that this signal strength is degrading. What it's going to do now is I, I've, already, I've got this connection up. I still have voice here. In the background, it's going to open up a, a silent call, okay? And it's going to call a phone number called the handoff number, okay? So he dials this phone number in the background. The user doesn't know this is happening right now. Signal strength is going down. This actually comes inside call manager, and it lands at this hand handoff number, which is configured inside call manager. When he gets this phone call, he says, what's the caller ID? In this case, it's the mobility identity. It matches the configuration that you've put into call manager. Now, at this point, we have two media connections. I've got a media connection here, and I've got a media connection here. So in order to hand off this phone call, all I have to do is break media over the wireless LAN. The way we do that is basically just to hold and resume with a port change on it that points the media that was here to here from here to here. So now, this user is talking over the cellular network. Now if I do the reverse, let's say that this user called extension 1001. I'm not in the office. So what is call manager going to do? He's going to ring whatever device. If you've got an IP phone, it'll ring that device. It'll use single number reach to ring out to your mobile phone. So you get an inbound call on your mobile phone and you answer it. And you walk into the office now. Now I'm going this way. Well, as you walk in, the signal strength over here to Wi-Fi gets stronger and stronger. And at some point, you reach a threshold where this is good enough for audio. So the phone can make an intelligent decision that says, oh, well, now I've got Wi-Fi. That's my preferred method of communication. So he does the reverse. So now he's inside the network, and he dials this handoff number, the IP extension version of it. And it does the same thing. You've got an audio connection up. We break now the cellular connection, and now you've transferred over to the wireless LAN. And I can do this either manually or automatic, either one. So depending on the type of device you've got, it might be that a user has no idea that this is actually happening in the background, uh, or it might be that they have to make a manual connection. Either way, we can move this audio seamlessly between the two networks. What type of Cisco equipment is involved in this kind of thing? Uh, good question. So 
when we talk about what's equipment is needed for this, you've got a wireless LAN, preferably a uh, Cisco wireless LAN because it'll have things like CCX protocols and feature set so that we can prioritize voice traffic. You have a mobile device, obviously, that can do wireless LAN. On top of this client, uh, on top of this phone, you have some sort of a VoIP client here, right? This could be, for example, Nokia Call Connect on the Nokia device. It could be Cisco Mobile on an iPhone. Uh, it could even be a, a BlackBerry client through MVS. Uh, some sort of mechanism here to signal over IP. So we're running either Skinny or SIP protocol uh, to Communications Manager. Uh, so basically you've got device, client, Wi-Fi, and then of course configuration inside Communications Manager. And that's really all you need.